Hello, my dear students of class 11. I hope all of you are well and safe. Today, I am going to start the chapter 5 from chemistry first paper, that is vocational chemistry. Today's topics are food security or food safety, a relation between food security and chemistry. And I'll discuss about the food preservatives. Let's start. At first, you have to know what is food security or food safety. Food security or food safety can be defined as the following ways that is uh, defined from World Health Organization 1996. All people at all times have access to sufficient and safe and nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. It's called food security. It means Food security is defined as the excess of all people at all times to enough food for an active and healthy life. It is uh, known as food security. Food security or food safety stands on three pillars, or three points or three factors. One is food availability, second is food excess, and third is food use. What is food availability? Sufficient supply of food in the market to be purchased by the people throughout the country. Food excess, financial capability of an individual to purchase the required amount of foods with proper, nutri with proper nutrients and also physical capacity to consume the required food. And food utilization, proper primary knowledge of an individual to intake proper amount of nutritious food as required for his body and to follow primary health rules. In a role of chemistry in the food security, uh, to increase the food production and uh, long-term food preservation of the produced food materials, chemistry plays a very important role. Chemist in increase the food production at first production of fertilizer also part of chemistry nitrogen containing fertilizers like urea ammonium nitrate ammonium sulfate uh, phosphorus containing fertilizers like tsp triple superphosphate dap diammonium biphosphate and also potassium containing fertilizers are potassium chloride potassium nitrate these fertilizers uh, help plant growth and uh, help the plants to bear flowers and fruits. Production of insecticides. Proper use of equal amount of insecticides can kill the different insecticides which frequently attack vast agricultural lands, destroying plants, flowers, fruits, and agricultural products of farmer. And here we observe that the production of fertilizer and the production of insecticides are the part of chemistry. So chemistry can play a very important role uh, for food uh, production. Number two, role of chemistry in food preservation, different types of preservatives. It may be artificial preservatives or uh, chemical preservatives. Uh, are used for preservation of food for a long time without changing the food quality. Uh, so these preservatives are uh, part of chemistry. Here, the causes of food purification. Uh, preservation of foods without preservatives, uh, it may be drying process, number two, by cooling process also. And now we'll discuss about what is food preservatives. 
the internationally recognized chemical substances mixed with food materials in a small amount to save them from bacterial or fungal attack are known as food preservatives. It means the chemical substances that are used uh, to preserve food without uh, changing the quality of food for a long time is known as food preservatives, okay? Two types of food preservatives are available. One is natural food preservatives and another is chemical food preservatives or artificial food preservatives. Table salt, uh, mustard oil, sugar syrup, picklings are uh, natural food preservatives. Table salt uh, can be used uh, to preserve the fish, meat, green vegetables, and fruits. The process of preserving putrefiable food, foods with solid sodium chloride or its concentrated solution is, is called curing. Preservation with mustard oil, mustard free mustard oil prevents the growth of bacteria, yeast, and fungus, so food can be saved. Sugar syrup. Food can be preserved by sugar uh, syrup or 65 to 70% sugar solution. The contract of the sugar syrup water from the cells of bacteria is diffused out by osmosis process. As a result, bacteria become dead. Okay, by using sugar solution, uh, jam, jelly, pickles, murubba, etc., can be preserved or can be prepared. Pickling, the process of preserving boiled fruits, vegetables with antibacterial liquids such as mustard oil, various spices, common salt, and vinegar is called pickling. Mango, guava, pineapple, hog palm, etc., are preserved with pickling process. These are natural food preservatives. What is chemical food preservatives? The intentionally approval chemical substances, here the intentionally approval chemical substances uh, used in small doses, uh, which can prevent uh, the putrefaction of food materials due to growth of bacteria and fungus are known as chemical food preservatives. There are three types of chemical food preservatives. One is antimicrobial agent, second is antioxidant, and third is silating agent. Antimicrobials agent, the antimicrobial chemical preservatives resist the growth of bacteria, yeast, and mold. They disrupt the cell membrane of microorganism and kill them. They are sodium benzoate, benzoic acid, uh, potassium sorbate, cytic acid, acetic acid, calcium propanoid, nitrate and nitrate salt, sulfur dioxide gas, and potassium meta sulfide. Here, uh, sodium benzoate or benzoic acid, the structural formula of sodium benzoate and benzoic acid, and uh, its uh, dose is 0.4%, and the pH level should be 4.7. Sodium sorbate, potassium sorbate, and calcium sorbate dissolve in water and produces sorbic acid. The permitted dose of sorbate salt is 0.1%. And it can effectively destroy yeast, mold, and bacteria up to pH 6.5. It is used in preservatives in curd, sweets, butter, and bakery food. Acetic acid, 6 to 10 percent aqua solution is called acetic acid, is called vinegar. Uh, 6 to 10 percent aqua solution of acetic acid is called vinegar. Uh, vinegar is used pickles and sauce and the acceptance piece level is 4.74. Calcium propanoid uh, undergoes this hydrolysis and form propanoic acid, and the acceptance dose is 0 0.1 to 0.3 ppm. Okay. It is citric acid, and the structural formula of citric acid uh, fights against yeast mold bacteria. It, it is used in jam, jelly, candy, and cooked fish and meat. Approval dose is 200 to 300 ppm. 
Here, PPM stands for parts per million. Potassium nitrate, potassium nitride, sodium nitrate, sodium nitride. They act as oxidizing agent, destroy microorganisms by disrupting their cell membrane and catalytic activity. Used for preserving fish and meat, and recommended dose is 120 ppm. Sulfur dioxide is sulfur dioxide not directly used as preservatives, mainly uh, sodium sulfide and potassium pyrosulfide is used as a source of sulfur dioxide. And uh, sulfur dioxide is mainly used to preserve fruits, fruit juice and green vegetables. What is antioxidant? Very important topic for you. Uh, the chemical substances which are used to prevent the oxidation of fat and oil of food materials are called antioxidant. Antioxidants are two types, natural and artificial antioxidants. Natural anti antioxidants are uh, found in natural food materials like vitamin C, yes, vitamin E, beta carotene, and selenium. And chemical here, uh, some chemical antioxidants, uh, they are butylated hydroxine, it's all short form of BSA, tertiary butyl hydroquinone, that is TBSQ, butylated hydroxytoluene BST, and propyl gallate. And this is the mechanism of putrefaction of fats and oil. Okay, it is a free radical mechanism, fat and oil molecule combined with oxygen and form. Uh, Free radical and in this these free radical by using this free radical mechanism, food or uh, particle uh, fat fat or oil fats or oil present in food particle can be putrefacted. Okay, and uh, this is the mechanism of prevention of uh, oxidation of fat or lipid by antioxidant. The antioxidant molecule react with more active lipid free radical uh, that is L dot forming lipid molecule back and forming less active antioxidant free radical A dot. As a result, the free radical chain reaction between lipid molecule and, and what and oxygen stops. This is the mechanism to prevent the oxidation of fats or lipid by antioxidant. What is a uh, chelating agent? What is chelating agent? Certain food products contain transitional metal ion like ferrous ion, ferric ion, cobalt ion, copper 2 plus, and etc. Some chemical substances are used as ligands to form coordination bond with transitional metal ions present in food to stop their catalytic action in food putrefaction. These ligands are known as chelating agent. Remember, in some food uh, particle, uh, some transitional metals like ferrous, ferric, cobalt 3 plus, copper 2 plus ions are present. And these uh, ions present in uh, food uh, particle behaves as a, behave as a catalytic, uh, substance and uh, destroy and uh, helps to uh, putrefy and the uh, food particles. So if we use the chemical substances or ligand uh, in the food containing this ion and the ligand uh, combined uh, with uh, ligand combined with these ions by coordination bond and uh, prevent the putrefaction of food particle. For example, ascorbic acid, vitamin E, folic acid are decomposed by copper two plus ion. Copper and iron both destroy fertile vitamin A and decolorize food. So by using chelating as an, it is possible to uh, prevent the putrefaction of uh, food stuffs uh, from um, these ions. Please remember the most commonly used chelating agent uh, is uh, ethylene diamine tetracetate, that is 
EDTA. Uh, this is the molecular formula of EDTA. Uh, EDTA can combine uh, the um, coordination bond with uh, metal ions. It means tensional metal ions present in food molecule, food molecule, and uh, uh, prevent from petrifaction. Okay, here EDTA stands for ethylene diamine tetra acetate. And it is uh, for your homework, write down the structural formula of BSA, BST, TBSQ, propyl gallate, EDTA, cytic acid, and sorbic acid. Again, I am going to discuss about from the first lesson. Uh, okay, just observe here. Slide number one. Uh, yes, food security. This is the definition of food security, then uh, stands uh, three pillars of food security, food availability, food access, food use, role of chemistry in food security. Uh, uh, for increasing of food production, we use different uh, fertilizers and uh, insecticides. And uh, secondly, uh, for long preservation of food materials, we use different chemical uh, preservatives. Uh, so it can be said that uh, from the increasing of food production to preserve food, uh, chemistry and chemicals are used in different uh, oils. This is the uh, production fertilizer, nitrogen content fertilizer, phosphorus containing and potassium containing fertilizer. This is the production of uh, insecticides and food preservation, causes of food petrification, food petrification by petrification petrification by the attack of microorganisms like bacteria is mold, decomposition or chemical oxidation with real oxygen intensive enzyme, decomposition or oxidation of oily or fatty food items uh, by trace element ion, preservation of food without preservatives, uh, true process, drying process and cooling process. What is food preservatives? the chemical substances that are used to preserve food without changing the food quality for a long time is known as food preservatives. This is the classification of food preservatives, natural food preservatives and chemical food preservatives. Natural food, food preservatives may be table salt, mustard oil, sugar syrup and pickles. Chemical food preservatives uh, may be antimicrobial agent, antioxidant chelating agent, Antimicrobial agents, uh, antimicrobial as and resist the growth of bacteria, yeast, and mold. And they may be sodium benzoate, benzoic acid, potassium sorbate, sodium sorbate, citric acid, acetic acid, calcium propanoid, nitrate, and nitrate salt, sulfur dioxide, and potassium metasulfite. And this is the, uh, the acceptance dose and the pH level of this. Uh, substances. And number two, antioxidant. Uh, what is antioxidant? The chemical substances which are used to prevent the oxidation of fat and oil of food materials is called antioxidants. Antioxidants may be natural and artificial. And uh, natural antioxidants are found in natural food materials, the vitamin C or ascorbic acid found in sour fruits, different green vegetables and green chilies. Vitamin E or tocopherol present in uh, different green vegetables and vegetable oils. Beta carotene present in uh, sweet potato, tomato, carrot, etc. Selenium found in fishes, chicken, and onion, etc. These are chemical or in artificial antioxidants that is BASA, TBSQ, and uh, BST and propyl gallate. You have to uh, know the structural formula of this chemicals and of these chemical antioxidants. 
Okay, very important point for you. Mechanism of putrefaction of fat lipid. Here, the free radical mechanism, lipid molecule combined with oxygen and uh, produce uh, the free radical. And this free radical, it is chain reaction. So finally, uh, in this way, a lipid molecule of food or oil molecule of food uh, can be putrefied by this free radical mechanism. But remember, some chemical substances can absorb oxygen and free radicals produced by the interaction of fat or, or lipid molecules with oxygen can stop the chain reaction causing the putrefaction of food. Those chemical substances are known as antioxidant. And this is the mechanism of prevention of oxidation of fat or lipid by antioxidants. And this is selecting agent. Uh, the most commonly used setting agent is EDTA, and it is for your uh, homework. And uh, for next session, I shall discuss about the food canning. Uh, so thank you, thank you for being with me.